Hello mga kawawa, ako si Henry. At nandito na naman tayo sa panibagong episode ng Wednesdays with Wa. Ang Wednesdays with Wa ay isang video series na ginawa namin ng Words Anonymous kung saan makakapagbahagi kami ng spoken word tips, writing tips, at kung ano-ano pa. At pinapalabas namin siya tuwing Wednesdays. Last Wednesday, Trevor explained the importance of structure, form, and style in spoken word poetry. For this week, ako naman ang magbabahagi sa inyo ng aking sariling writing tips. Specifically, on how to cure writer's block. So, for our 8th episode of Wednesdays with Wa, aka our Halloween special, our topic would be Intuition and Intuitive Writing. Hindi naman nakakatakot yung topic ko ngayong araw. Pero kaya ako nasabi na Halloween special ito because my topic is also closely related with the occult and esoteric practices. As some of you may know, aside from being a spoken word artist, isa rin akong tarot card reader. And tarot card reading is a very intuitive process. So, kanina nyo pa narinig ang intuition or intuitive. Ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin nito? Para ma-explain ko yun, balikan natin kung ano yung natutunan natin nung high school, specifically sa biology. Actually, in-explain ni Robert Rubin ng Mysterium Philippines sa kanyang libro na in The Intuitive Within na ang tao ay merong logical mind and intuitive mind. Naalala nyo ba nung high school, in-explain na merong left and right side of the brain? The left side of the brain focuses on the logical side, rationality reason, things that make sense. So basically, ang goal ng left side of the brain or the logical mind is to make sense of the data, information, and knowledge na nakukuha natin sa surroundings natin. And that is through observation. So kailangan may five senses kang ginagamit. They should make sense. Okay? Now, the right side of the brain or the intuitive mind focuses on things that we cannot really explain through logic. For example, arts, feelings, emotions, creativity, intuition. So, mahirap siyang i-explain by logic. For example, kapag nagpe-painting yung mga painters, do they logically think about what color to use? yung mga impressionists painting, paano nila nalalaman ko ano yung kulay na gagamitin? So, yun. Another example to differentiate. For example, meron kang naamoy na adobo. Sa harap mo ay may adobo. That is logic. Pero, for example, may naamoy kang adobo, pero ang nasa harap mo ay libro. Does it make sense? No. That is intuition. To further explain the difference ng logical side and the intuitive side of the brain, let me share to you yung mga brain waves. Okay? So according to science, merong apat na brain waves ang tao. Alpha waves, beta, theta, and delta. But for this topic, I'll be explaining the first two. Ang beta waves, or what we call the beta state, is also called the projective or the protective state. So ibig sabihin, you are protected or you don't receive too much information because you have to focus your energy on the task at hand. For example, kapag stressed ka, kapag nakainom ka ng kape, kapag you're in an emergency situation, pag may exam ka, you have to focus kung ano yung ginagawa mo ngayon. Mas binibigyan ng importansya ang logical side of the brain. Kaya hindi ka nakaka-receive ng intuitive information. Ang alpha state naman, or what we call the intuitive or receptive state, ay nangyayari kapag mas nakaka-receive ka ng information, intuitive information, um, dahil mas relaxed ka. So, nangyayari ito kapag relaxed, kapag inaantok, kapag lasing. So, basically, kapag gusto mong magsulat about a new topic at gusto mong makareceive ng inspiration, it's better to do it in a relaxed state. So, pwede ka uminom ng beer. I think. 
<laughs> Pero, kapag gusto mo namang ipagpatuloy ang pagsusulat ng isang bagay, uminom ka ng kape. Because you have to focus your task. We have to focus at the task at hand. Isa lang yun sa mga gamit. Pero, bakit ko nga ba ini-explain ko ano ang intuitive state? A few episodes ago, in-explain ni Junel yung kanyang own writing process. At sinabi niya na merong mga times na mas nakakapagsulat siya. For example, kapag nasa biyahe siya. At paano nga ba nangyayari yun? That is him being in an intuitive state. Mas relaxed siya. Walang iniisip ang utak niya. Kaya nakaka-receive siya ng information. Kumbaga, parang baso na walang laman. So, if you're in an intuitive state, para kang baso na walang laman, tapos, mas nakaka-receive ka ng information kaysa kapag focused ka sa isang bagay. So, imagine if you're able to achieve the alpha or the intuitive state at will. Yes, it is possible for you to condition yourself to be in the zone. Paano nga ba ito gagawin? Si Jose Silva ay isang hypnotist at nag-develop siya ng isang technique on how to hypnotize yourself to enter the alpha state. And this is what we called the Silva method. At ituturo ko sa inyo ang basic techniques on how to achieve the alpha state. Well, number one, close your eyes. Kasi kapag nakapikit yung mga mata natin, hindi tayo nakaka-receive ng visual information from our surroundings. So we become more focused. There are a lot of techniques on what to use. Pero um, ang naiisip ko na effective na pwedeng gamitin is counting backwards. So for example, you count backwards from 50 or from 100 or pwedeng as short as 20 or 10. So 20, 19, 18, 17, habang nakapikit ka at humihinga ka ng normally. So, that is one effective technique. Basta, ang goal ng Silva Method is for you to enter a very relaxed state. So, you have to let go of your muscles, tapos isipin mo para kang lumulutang sa tubig. Ganun yung nafe-feel ko when I enter the alpha state. Parang nakalutang sa tubig, parang umiikot. And there. So, pwede nyo siyang itry. Um, enter the alpha state. And then, just take note of all the things that you experience. The feelings, the emotions, the visions, the sounds. So, this should not, um, I mean, this doesn't have to make sense. Okay? So, yan ang number one rule when you're dealing with intuitive practices. Thou shall not doubt. Kailangan ko ano yung na-experience mo during an in intuitive state ay hindi mo siya filter Case in point, alam nyo ba ang phenomenon ng third eye? Actually, ang third eye is another term for intuition. At hindi lahat ng tao ay nakakakita per se. Because different people perceive intuition differently. So, for example, some people nakakakita. Some people nakakarinig. Some people nakakaamoy. Some are um, attuned to symbolic images. May ibang tao na alam lang talaga nila or nararamdaman nila. Pero, ang gusto kong i-point out ay lahat tayo ay merong intuitive abilities. Pero because of our society, because of how we are, um, kung paano tayo pinalaki ng society, na mas important ang logical side of the brain na susupress yung ating intuitive abilities. But through practice, ay ma-enhance mo siya. So, through arts, through music, through writing. And katulad ng muscle, ay na-improve or nag enhance ang intuition kapag lagi mo siyang ginagamit. So, paano nga ba natin magagamit ang nalalaman natin tungkol sa intuitive state or intuitive mind sa pagsusulat? I would like to share to you a technique na ginagamit ko kapag pressed for time ako. For example, kailangan ko magsulat ng isang tula tapos ang deadline ay kinabukasan or sa makalawa. This is what we call the intuitive or automatic writing. 
So, paano nga ba ito ginagawa? Una, magbukas ka ng uh, Microsoft Word or any document app. Pwede ring notepad, pwede ring papel at pen. Pero kasi mas madaling mag-type kaysa magsulat. For me. So, anyway, isulat nyo muna doon yung intention nyo. So, for example, I will write about stories. I will write about love. I will write about this, 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 and that. So, parang kinokondition mo ang sarili mo to receive that kind of intuitive information. Kumbaga, para mong fine tune yung intuitive antenna mo para ang receive mong information is related to what you want to write about. So, that is the first step. Second step, you go into alpha state or intuitive state using the Silva method that I explained to you a while ago. Or simply, you just have to close your eyes and relax. Okay? And then, when you feel that you're very relaxed, step number three, you type everything. As in everything. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo siya filter. Lahat ng pumapasok sa isip mo, lahat ng images, lahat ng sounds, lahat ng naamoy, or lahat ng emotions na nararamdaman mo, kailangan mo siyang itype lahat sa, um, sa computer or sa papel. Isulat mo siya sa papel. It doesn't have to make sense. Minsan, wala pang ang space kapag nagtatype ako kasi tuloy-tuloy lang siya. And then, after that, if you feel that um, medyo okay na, na nasulat mo na yung lahat ng gusto mong isulat, that is when the logical mind of the brain comes into the picture. Try to make sense of the words. Try to filter kung ano yung naiisip mo na pwede mong gamitin. And maybe, and hopefully, that could help you in starting a topic. Ngayon, siguro tinatanong nyo, nagamit ko na ba tong technique na to? Yes. Nagamit ko na siya nung nagsulat ako for Globe, yung pasalubong, yung nasa UV Express ako. Kasi ang deadline niya ay parang a few days after sinabi. Or, or nag-procrastinate lang ako. Anyway, so I have about three days to write about it. So, ang ginawa ko, nagbukas lang ako ng Microsoft Word. And then, ang nilagay kong intention ay to write about stories wherein people can relate. Kasi ang topic na binigay sa akin nun ay stories. So, as in, nagsulat-sulat lang ako ng kahit anong pumasok sa isip ko. So, ang mga pumasok sa isip ko ay yung imagery na umuwi ako ng bahay. Tapos, ang pumasok sa isip ko ay yung amoy ng, ng sinigang and pagtahol ng aso, pagbukas ng kortina, all of those little things. And after that, I tried to filter kung ano yung pwede kong gamitin. And voila, nabuo ko yung, yung poem. Pero syempre, you have to fine-tune or you have to fix it. Kasi medyo raw pa siya. So, kapag nalagay mo na yung information na yun, yung intuitive information dun sa papel or sa computer, try to fix it using what you know about writing poetry. So, yung mga imagery, so, yung mga metaphor, uh, figures of speech, and then the form and the structure that you learned from the previous episodes of Wednesdays with Va. So, basically, itong topic ko is how to jumpstart or how to, to start the car. Pero, yung daan na pupuntahan mo ay you should know about it. So, parang ganun. So, I hope nakatulong yung mga topics na sinare ko sa inyo. P.S. Pwede nyo rin gamitin ng alpha state or intuitive state in feeling the things that are not there. Okay? I am not encouraging you to do this. Pero if you want to try, like, you can go to the church or you can go to the cemetery mm, and other places. And if you enter the alpha state or the intuitive state, most likely I, you will be able to feel their presence. That is all. And I hope um, nakatulong ako sa inyo ngayon. And especially for those na may mga writer's block, I hope this technique um, proves to be helpful. So if you like what we do, follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube account. So... This is Henry, and maraming salamat sa pagsubaybay sa aming Wednesday is with Juan.
拜拜。